Hi, I'm Paul from PDH Sports, the leading online racket specialist, and today I'm going to show you how to put on a, a Caracal PU Super Grip. Now, I'm going to specifically focus on one of these grips. This is possibly our number one, well, it is our number one selling uh, squash and badminton and racquetball grip. Uh, it can be used for tennis rackets, but it is probably more, we find it's a more popular grip for squash tennis, uh, squash racquetball and badminton. Um, so, so, like I said, I'm going to focus solely on how, um, putting one of these on. Now, they come in uh, an array of colours, assorted colours. Um, through our website, you can purchase them um, in sort of, you get two at a time. Uh, if you specifically require a colour, then you can email us. And um, if you email our customer service at pdhsports.com, you know, we can try and sort of make sure you get the colour that you require. So the first thing you're going to need to do when you get your, your grip is you, you need to make a choice on whether you want to take the original grip off uh, to keep it the, the original thickness by putting this new one on or like some people would do is they would put it over the top. Um, I, have, I do get asked a lot, you know, with, you know, how thick should you have your grip? It's very much a personal preference. For myself, I like quite a thin grip because I'm quite sort of like to hold my racket with my fingers. Um, and really sort of feel what that, if I go too thick then it becomes a bit like uh, my whole hand wrapped around it but it's very much, I'd say, you know, like 90% of the club players at our local club would probably be putting this grip over the top of a grip because they prefer that extra thickness plus also like with um, a, a racquetball racket, they come in the UK from standard, they come from very small so nearly everybody would put a grip over the top of the original grip so for my racket, I'm going to take off the grip. So this is the exact procedure that I would take. So the first thing you need to do is take the tape off the top and then literally just rip this grip off. Sometimes you will find at the bottom it's like stapled in, but again, you know, don't worry about that. Just rip that off, it goes. And then when you get to your new grip, it comes with a nice bit at the top, which you will need, uh, which is like, uh, you'll use that at the end, so don't throw that away. All these grips um, come with, all the character grips come with a nice cellophane top that, that just protects the grip that you need to take off. So you peel that off, okay, and then again on the back, because the one thing that's, that uh, people struggle with with this grip, because it's got a sticky back, you kind of almost need to get it right first time. So. With the Caracal grips, they've given us a nice, uh, it says start at the front, at the bottom here, on the thin end of the grip. So all you need to do is start on the thin end, see how it sort of tapers away. You start at the thin end, you peel that back, like so. And then the most important thing for me to, to when putting the grip on is you keep it out in front of you. So you, all you do is you start at the bottom, like this. Once you've got that attached from the bottom there, it's just, you're just slowly pulling the racket around whilst adding the grip. And I just keep, so within the grip, there's a nice sort of space on each one. You can go closer together on your turns and that will make it slightly thicker and, and also give you a little bit more sort of finger grooves on the grip. But it's important to try to keep it nice and even all the way around. You see, every time I make a press, I just press the grip slightly onto the racket as I'm spinning the racket around in front. By keeping it in front of me, I'm able to control how I put this grip on. Okay, so each turn, slight presses each time to make sure the grip is nice and secure. Okay, now again here, as you get to the top, you'll often find that there is a little bit of excess and you have the option. You can either keep going round or you know, um, a pair of scissors is handy. And you just, again, you cut this at a slight, so I'm going to cut this at a slight angle on the grip. Okay. Proper pair of scissors probably would have been better. And then I come back to my piece of tape. 
So again, I just wrap that around. This is the bit of tape that you had at the start. So again, make sure you peel that back. And this is where you can just tidy up the top of the grip, make it look smart and nice. And that just wraps around and finishes the grip off like that. And there you have it. So that basically uh, is how you would put on your Caracal PU Super Grip. So you have the option, you can put it over the original grip to make it thicker, or like I did, you just rip the original grip off and you put that on. And then there you go, I've now got a brand new nice grip. Um, you know, I mean, I'd say, people ask me again how, how long, you, how often you should change your grip. I mean, these grips, they, they don't last forever because, you know, the more sweat they get on, eventually you'll get to a point where the sweat is no longer absorbing, it's just sitting there and you've got no grip. And as soon as you start to feel that it's lost that, that, that sort of, that grip, then, um, you know, change it. Um, you know, don't wait, don't wait a year to change your grip. I would be changing them, you know, maybe like every, every sort of six weeks, every couple of months, depending on how much you're playing, because there's nothing better than putting a brand new grip. It's, you know, it's now, it's tacky, and uh, it certainly feels a lot better than it did um, five minutes ago. So hopefully that's been useful to you. Um, check out all our sort of, we've got lots more videos coming. You know, uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Uh, go to our PDH Sports website. We've got some blog posts on there. We're doing so. We've got plenty more videos coming, and uh, I'll see you soon.